let's look at the cardinality of sets. So the definition is the cardinality of a set is the total number of elements in the set. And the keynote is that to denote the cardinality of a set A, we use either N and then in brackets capital A, or we have two straight lines and A in the middle, where A is just any set. Let's look at some examples of where we use cardinality notation. So we've got three sets here. The first set has the elements 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 and 12. And so if we wanted to work out the cardinality of set A, then we could write either N and then A in brackets, or we could write A with two lines. And this would equal to the number of elements within the set. So in total, set A has one, two, three, four, five, six elements. And so we would say that the cardinality of set A is equal to six. Similarly, if we wanted to work out the cardinality of set B, we could write either N and then in brackets capital B or straight lines and then B in the middle. So let's use the second type of notation. So we've got B and we're trying to work out the cardinality of it. And so B is the set of all odd numbers from 1 to 20. So let's list these out to make this a bit easier. So set B equals to all of the odd numbers from 1 to 20. So that's 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17, and 19. These are all of the odd numbers from 1 to 20. And so in total, the number of elements in this set is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So the cardinality of B is equal to 10. If we wanted to work out the cardinality of C, again, we would just count the number of elements inside the set. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And so the cardinality of C written using either of these notations, so let's use N and capital C, equals to 9. We can also use the cardinality notation with several other symbols within set notation, such as intersection, union, complement, and so on. So let's work out the cardinality of A intersect B. So the first thing we should do is work out what A intersect B is as a set. So we've got set A here, and we've got set B here, and we're looking for all of the elements that are common in both. And so in this case, we see that in fact, none of the elements in A or B are common in both. And so therefore, the cardinality of A intersect B is equal to zero, since A intersect B itself is equal to the empty set, since there are no elements that are common in both A and B. And the empty set contains zero elements. Therefore, the cardinality of A intersect B is equal to zero in this question. We could also use union. So let's work out the cardinality of B union C. So the first thing we need to do is work out what B union C is as a set. And so B union C would equal to all of the elements that are in either B, C or both. And so since we've got both of the sets listed out here, we just need to combine all of the elements together. So in this case, B union C is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So that's all of the elements in B union C. And so to work out the cardinality, we just need to count all of the elements. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And so the cardinality of B union C is equal to 15.